going to the bakery. The outfits are fire. Literally every video is dedicated to some kind of bread. I also bought myself a croissant. Beautiful. I am freaking banning myself from the internet. I woke up and like people are posting about the third world war. We just experienced the hottest March in recorded history. I think I banned myself from the internet like half an hour earlier. This is leftover asparagus and tomatoes. Today's Monday and I cook them Saturday night. And I just hope that I will not poison myself. I just went on the Nike Run Club app to check what are we running today. I'm just curious when have my recovery runs that were like 15 minutes have become 6 and 5k? Actually, really don't want to run. But the moment I put on any of my running gear, I'm like, okay, let's freaking go. Her and her wife focus in action. <laughs> what in the true detective is that? I actually dream of running in Los Angeles, at Venice Beach, in a bra and in shorts, just like all the LA influencers. But we have what we have. I decided to absolutely randomly make vodnik, chalodnik, cold beetroot soup. We need potatoes, eggs, some beets and beets juice. Spring onions, cucumbers, radish, and copetic. And we just cut everything and mix everything and we're done. The best soup in the world is ready. I put ice to cool it down. Yeah, but this is more of a salad than a soup, but I like the chewy part the most, so taste test. Mm. Open the monster. AKA my child. Haven't washed my face. Haven't washed my teeth. Just a productive day in a life. The mindset that helps me a lot actually is that the hardest part of doing literally anything is just lifting your body off the bed or off the couch and moving it in the right direction yo my brain doesn't work in english today i did my taxes I'm a real adult, doing my taxes and applying for a mortgage, yay, adulthood, so cool. I wanna skip classes and drink beer at noon and smoke cigarettes, hiding from my parents. But I was so unhappy back then, so maybe I don't want that back. Everything in life has pros and cons to it, right?
Hi everyone, good morning. So we had this meeting with our colleague from Pinterest, all based in different states in the US now. We were talking about Poland. One girl there, she's my friend. She, like her grandma is Polish. And there was this other girl who I didn't know she had Polish ancestry. She is from Australia, but she said that her family is also Polish. These people's ancestors, they chose to move to the US and to Australia. And my Polish ancestors, Belarus. Uh, I just learned that Pinterest kind of messed up my documents for applying for a mortgage. I'm trying to think like, okay, we almost bought a house, but if we will not be able to buy a house, then we will just get back our down payment and we'll go on a cool vacation somewhere. Everything has positive sides to it, okay? Today is the day when we finally learn if we have won anything in the CanLine competition in Poland. And my creative partner slash friend is like, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? And I'm like, girl, I've spent the last, I don't know how many weeks so deep in all kinds of bureaucracy. I am not afraid of anything anymore. If I go to hell, I will be just eternally applying for a mortgage. I don't know, this day is just not daying. First, I dropped and absolutely destroyed my Chanel eyeshadow. Kind of upsetting, but these are just things. My freckles are sprayed on. I use like a colored hairspray. I try to spray them as, as per usual, but for some reason something broke and I just like my makeup was fully done and I just sprayed a huge like brown spot half of my face so I had to kind of redo things. I'm not late to work but I'm later than I would like to be at work. I don't know, I try to be a fashionista but but I sometimes spend like 15 minutes choosing my outfit, choosing the footwear and I always choose my new balances. I literally don't wear anything else. So this weekend I plan on selling a lot of stuff on Vinted. Bags, footwear, and I just need to be a minimalist, which is actually, I need to be a minimalist. Sometimes I'm so concerned about how I park and sometimes people park like they're the last person in the world. Being respectful to other people is my overall principle in life. This is not people-pleasing, this is just 
thinking about the consequences of your actions. the items I want to buy like I need white parachute pants and a black fleece sweater and this is what I ordered for travel and for cold day runs I will show you the inspiration here I just search Pinterest for the vibe I want to executive and then I just search for the items first I always go on these secondhand platforms like vintage and if I don't find anything suitable there suitable and cheap I go to online stores but I think it's just like perfect for traveling so and imagine parachute pants with this beautiful I am actually really enjoying the run right now near the beach and I was thinking I would love to move somewhere that it's warm all year round singles but at the end like you're always taking yourself with you and I'm sure that I will feel just the same everywhere until I find the real piece inside of me. That's the running philosophy today. I'm done. 5k today. I started running about a month and a half ago. So right now running 5k feels like Running 1k in the beginning. I was dying after that. So it's officially been one year since I started going to yoga. I've noticed that when I'm doing some kind of physical exercises on a not daily but like a weekly basis that changes my mind I'm talking about really feeling your body feeling that your body has muscles that these muscles help you move your body on a daily basis and you start to really understand the role that your body and its health really plays in your life. I feel like my body is a freaking machine and this machine must work well for me. And in order to work well, I need to fuel it. I need to drive with caution, making sustainable and impactful choices. Please do not judge me. When I'm stressed, I'm either watching Twilight or playing The Sims. So I made our um, imaginary house. I made our family. I made our dog who's nervous. I made our cat who is like, he looks very similar to our cat. And I just went for a run in The Sims. And that's how we plan to organize stuff. <laughs> 